Hi, you're outdoors with Eddie Brochin, and this week we'll be wading the St. Joe River alongside the Flymasters of Indianapolis in pursuit of the aggressive steelhead. So pull up a chair and join us on this action-packed fly fishing adventure. How you doing? Hey, not too bad. What you up to? Uh, I guess I'm coming in to see what all we got going on this week. They said the uh, steelhead's running up there on the St. Joe. Yep, they've gone. I just talked to Derek. There's some good fishing going on. The steelhead are starting to come in up by Barrier Springs. Uh, if you want to do some steelhead, it might be a good weekend okay. to head up. Well, why don't you fill us in on what kind of tackle we'll, we'll need for this trip? We'll go okay. There. Let's take a look at some rods and supplies. Okay. Well, probably to see tomorrow what we need to use are a little longer rod. What I've been using is this Winston. 11 foot, seven weight. This extra length on the rod, we can reach out and mend a lot farther. These longer rods, this one, or we may even tomorrow use some two-handed rods, 15 foot rods. We can reach farther and catch the fish a lot easier. Okay. So we got this one, or maybe even one of the hardy 15 footers. Okay. Um, what kind of flies are we gonna be using? Okay, what we're gonna probably use tomorrow are a collection of eggs, or egg sucking leeches. I've got a section here I'll show you. We can open these up. We'll be using the different colored eggs. We've got some what we call spinnered minnows. This is kind of a new fly that we've been inventing and working on okay. that works there. Productive for you before? Tom? Yeah, we've caught a lot of fish on these. And then these classic egg sucking leeches. Egg sucking leeches. That fly always works. That's kind of an Alaskan fly, but it works on everything. And just figuring out which color combinations, the pinks and the purples. And we'll even probably, we've got some tube flies. We'll even swing some tube flies, okay. real bright colored ones like this, to try and pick them up. That, and then either single eggs, I'll pull some single eggs, and maybe even throw some egg clusters like this okay. out there. Various sizes and colors are what we're going to be using on there. Okay. And we'll just Try to see, till we see what they're hitting on. Okay. Al, he used to live in that. That's eight okay. pound test. Only eight? On the end. It's a heavy butt. I, I got one. Huh? I think I got another one. I, I got plenty of tippet. We can cut it in. I got okay. every piece of. I got up to 80 pounds tippet with me. I brought my whole set. You have any like 12 pound leaders or anything? Only deep blue. Okay. I'm gonna unwrap the leader. So I'm gonna wrap the leader. I'm gonna hook this up to the to our fly. Get that. We're going to use a loop-to-loop -loop connection. We take the slide, the leader, through the loop on the leader. We're going to double it over, slide it through there, and we'll just pull it all the way through, getting all the knots out of it. We don't fish downstream, we fish from basically about 12 o'clock to eh, a little past 10. So that's our strike zone. So we position ourselves so that we're in that window. We'd been on the St. Joe River for quite some time. Hadn't had a strike, but John Woodboom's promise of a big steelhead soon became reality. Yeah. 
it up here. Welcome back. I hope you're enjoying this week's episode of fly fishing on the St. Joe River. Now let's get right back to the action. He doesn't want to give up, does he? It's all right. I'll take your time. Don't let him get impatient. Let the reel slide if the reel wants to slide. Now is not the time to try and palm them too hard. Just one is sitting there waiting for Derek to make his move. <laughs> See the white to Derek's eyes, he'll be uh, taking off again. Nice fish. My arm knows numb for a bit. For a bit. Good thing, Derek. No, you don't have to reel in, okay? Big boy. No shallow place to land. Big boy hanging out in the middle there. Play. He took the egg, took the egg leech. Yep. yep. Right there in the corner of the mouth. Excellent hook set you had there, son. Yeah. Excellent hook set. Yep. Awesome. Right in the corner. That way the little teeth up here, the teeth up here can't uh, mm -hmm. cut your fly line when you hook them in the corner of the water. Yeah. That's why you want to have the that hook set downstream and back because uh -huh. that pulls it into the corner of the mouth. So good job. Woo. It's a St. Joe steelhead. Okay, hold him a little higher so I can get a good picture. About eight, nine, probably about eight, nine pounds. Nice fish. I got a nice steelhead, I think. And he's taking off down the river on me. We may have to get on our horses and chase this one. But uh, there he comes. He's coming up. He's coming. Derek, you're ready to net this one. I'm going to bring her over to you. I'm going to get her to come up. There she's surfacing. Get the net on it. A small female fish, not look very much. Yeah. A second, uh, one quick picture for the camera. Nice fish, probably yeah. a couple year old female. Um, still has a few eggs in her, so she's getting ready to spawn. She just kind of started spawning. We just spotted her. We tried to fish to the males back behind, and, but John hooked the female, and so we'll let her go, and she'll go find another bed of gravel someplace and lay her eggs and. And uh, then she'll swim back to Lake Michigan. Oops, sorry. <laughs> there, we got to see, here's the fly that we used. Egg-ticking leech. 
This is a purple fly, orange head. Purple is almost black when it gets wet, so it's it's very visible against the bottom, so the fish are easy, can pick it up quite easy. The orange is just a nice contrast. The contrast and the movement with the marabou here just goes together quite well to make a good fly for steelhead. Okay kids, it's time for Can You Spot Chase. Chase is a little red-tailed hawk that we hide throughout the program. At some point from the time it starts to the time it ends, there's a little red-tailed hawk somewhere always in the picture. If you can spot him, correctly identify where he was on that particular program, write me a letter. And if it's correct, I will put your name into a drawing that we will have at the end of the season for a free hunting trip or fishing trip of your choice. Remember kids, Chase is always in the picture. For example, did you know he was sitting right back there on that perch? Remember, he's always in the picture. Looks like it's going to be a pretty good day for bow fishing. Yeah. The only, good. The only thing uh, I'm concerned with is the uh, water clarity. We've had an awful lot of rain, so the water's pretty murky. But I'm hoping though, with the warm water and the warm rains we've had, they'll be up on the banks. We'll be able to get some shots with the backs out of the water. For those of you that are just tuning in today, I want to introduce you to one of our HTS Pro Team members. His name's Ed DeWitt. We call him Fletch because he spends most of his time fletching arrows for everybody. We're gonna head up first up here into the flats of Geist and uh, see if we can pick up some in the shallows. If uh, we're not too successful there, we may end up going back down the reservoir where the water's a little bit clearer and fishing some deeper water. Uh, that wouldn't discourage me because all my biggest carp have come in deeper water. You know, the 20s and the 30s and 35s and 40s have all been in that deeper water. So we'll uh, just do our best. Well, we've noticed, uh, we spotted a few uh, Nice carp moving, working the bank right up here. We're gonna try to get up in there. It's awfully shallow, so I don't know that we'll be able to get a shot on them or not. I'm gonna wrap the line around here, and I'm gonna twist it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. Take the end of the line, run it through there. Basically, it's just a, a cinch knot, like a fishing knot. Okay, then back through one more time. Put it down, slide it down, and creating a cinch knot. And then I slide that all the way down to the front, and that's on there good and tight, okay? And that'll enable me to be able to take far shots. hard to come by today that wasn't very good but I've switched to a little bit different system now we're fishing a lot of real heavy cover so what I've got going on here is I've got a 200 pound nylon and I've run a, a giant barrel swivel on the end of it with a leader and that leader slides up and down the main line and I've got it attached to a milk jug it's gonna act as my buoy so I can shoot a bigger fish and we'll just come back later on and look for this floating uh, milk carton. I mean, milk jug there, and we'll be able to find him. All right, let's see if we can get one this way. Oh, it's 
swear it was at least at least that man. I missed him too. Got it! There's the boy, the boy's off! taking off. Good thing I got that buoy in the water right there. We'll just go after him later. We'll let him get tired out. Okay, Ed. Grab him as soon as he, uh, as soon as we get past him. I want him to run off again. We've been chasing him down for a ways now. You got him? Can't reach him? Alright. Alright, let's find him. I know he's on there. He's hitting good. Oh yeah, he's on there. It's a big fish, too. He's still got a little fight left in him. Okay. Got your pocket knife very handy, Ed. <laughs> Cut that knife for me right there, Ed. Appreciate it, sir. All right, open that cooler for me. Let's drop him down in there. That gives us three. You'd be surprised how many people out there like to eat carp. And we, uh, we like to donate all the ones we get when we bow fish. That way we're utilizing everything. It's a nice fish. It must weigh about 12 pounds. Alright. You nailed him, Ed. You nailed him. Alright. Gotta watch this. Not that. Here we go. Man, good shot there, Ed. Pretty good fish. Not too bad. Coming in, any? Yeah, we're getting that. Decent sized carp, and he got him right in the head, didn't you? <laughs> there he is. Ooh. All right, get shot there. Don't put him in the boat. <laughs> I don't want him in the boat. <laughs> You're going to lose that. Got him. Nice shot. Well, that's all for this week. Be sure to tune in next week for another action-packed adventure of Outdoors with Eddie Brochin, where it's as real as it gets.